How do you ensure that you're getting the best volunteer corn control? My name is Tyler Scheinkamp, agronomist for Winfield United, and today we're going to focus in on what key adjuvants you need to add to the tank to get good volunteer corn control and how to overcome antagonism that often plagues us when we're mixing with group 4 type herbicides. Let's start talking about adjuvants. To this side of me, we have a plot treated with clethodim. Should have killed all this volunteer corn, but didn't kill anything. On the other side, we have clethodim plus an oil, in this case, Superb HC. You can see we got very good control with that oil adjuvant in the tank because we were able to get through that waxy cuticle on the plant. Another key factor that we run into with corn killing herbicides is as we start to tank mix. So on this side of me, you can see we have our oil and our clethodim based product. We've pretty well got good control, right? This plot over here is the exact same, but now we added in dicamba to that tank mix. And you can see we didn't get very good control. Okay, so the key is if you're going to be tank mixing these group four type herbicides, whether it be 240 or dicamba, we need to bump up the rate of that corn killing herbicide to get decent weed control. In order to get really good volunteer corn control, we need to make sure we have the right oil adjuvant. And also we need to make sure that if we're mixing with a group four type herbicide, whether that be dicamba or 2,4-D, that we bump up the rate of that corn killing herbicide. For more information, make sure you talk to your local Winfield United retailer or click on the link below.